Howdy Wargamers, I'm Jay and I'm going to show you how you can get your Space Marine vehicles done in next to no time at all. This Space Marine Hunter actually took less than 45 minutes to complete, so you could get multiple tanks done in one day with no problem at all. Ok, let's get it painted. My secret weapon here is Army Painter's Colour Primer Ultramarine Blue, which I use to undercoat the entire tank. Army Painter do a wide range of colours, so it doesn't matter what chapter you use, you're sure to find the right spray for your army. This tutorial is aimed to be as simple as possible, so literally anybody can follow it and get the same results as I did. You can apply all the same techniques and colours in this tutorial to any Space Marine vehicle and get similar results. It doesn't matter what chapter you play either, the only thing you need to change is the primer, and that's it. As you can see, I'm using transfers. I'm going to say it now, I never ever use transfers normally. I would much rather paint on my own details, however, they do make life a lot simpler if you want to get things done quick. They're pretty simple to use as well. All you need to do is cut the ones out that you want to use. Try and cut as closely to the transfer as possible as this makes life a lot easier when trying to get them off. Then bathe them in water for around 30 seconds. Then it's just a case of holding the transfer next to the desired location and gently push the transfer off the card with a brush. Take your time because they are very fragile and if they fold or tear it's pretty much game over for that transfer. Here you can see the hunter after I've applied all of the transfers I wanted to use. They break up the flat surfaces nicely and this has all been done with minimal effort. Ok, now it's time to hit the tracks. I used an airbrush here just to be quick, but there is no reason why you can't just use a large brush. This is a really quick and easy way of doing tank tracks. Simply paint them black first. I used Vallejo's Model Air Black, but you can use any black, Chaos Black, Army Painter Black, it doesn't really matter as long as it's black. It does have to be black black though, not just black. I'm not being overly tidy here either, it doesn't matter if the black spills over onto the sides of the tank, you will see why in a second. Ok, so now I have finished painting the tracks black, I'm going around the underside of the tank just dirtying it up a bit. Don't go crazy here, just hit the belly of the tank and the lower half of the sides. It will give a nice contrast with the bright blue and make it look slightly weathered. As you can see, I'm using an airbrush again. If you don't have one, it's not a problem. Just hit the same areas with a dry brush. When dry brushing, make sure the closer you are to the bottom of the tank, the more intense the shade of black should be. It will give you the same effect. In this stage, I'm also going around the tank spraying all of the vents and exhausts with black to give them a nice dirty sooted look. Again, this breaks up the flat surfaces and adds a nice contrast. Ok, so now we're going to start battering the hell out of the tank and we're going to do this with a sponge believe it or not. So many people think that painting is just picking up a paintbrush and going at it but that's just not the case. Here, a piece of scrap sponge is used to give a basic but awesome weathered look. This is a lot like dry brushing. Just dab a corner of the sponge in some black paint and rub the excess off. Try it out on a piece of paper until the desired amount of paint comes out. Now start dabbing the sponge over the tank. D go as crazy as you'd like but pay extra attention to the corners and sharp edges of the tank to give the best effect. Obviously, the more dabbing you do, the more weathered the tank is going to look. This comes down to personal preference. Some people like the just out the showroom look, however it's good to try and remember that it's a war game. In the fluff, your tanks have been through hell and back, and in some cases, literally.
Okay, so now it's time to do the same thing again, only this time use a silver metallic. I use Vallejo's Model Air Aluminium. Try to use a little less on the sponge this time because you don't want to completely cover up the black specks. When applying the silver, try and hit the same places as you did with the black. This will enhance the look of the technique because it will look like the paint has actually been chipped away through months, years or even centuries of service in the war zone. It's worth noting that you can get an even more weathered look by using the same technique over and over but using different shades of browns and greens for dirt and oranges if you'd like your tank to look a bit rusty. Well there you have it guys and girls, this is the brand new hunter kit painted up ready to annihilate your enemy's flyers. It's easily a tabletop standard if not a little better and it took less than an hour. You can apply these simple but effective techniques to any tank, whether it's a Land Raider, a Rhino or a Lehman Russ. If you like this painting tutorial please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website at www.ttcombat.com where you'll find plenty more tutorials and other wargaming fun. Thanks for watching and happy wargaming!